You sit down, open your laptop, and tell yourself, all right, today I'm finally going to learn how to code. You open YouTube, search for a tutorial, maybe watch one, maybe two. You even type a few lines of code. And for that moment, you feel good. You feel like, yeah, I'm finally getting this. But then, a few days later, it all disappears. The motivation fades. The syntax starts to look strange again. You forget what you learned. You start feeling like coding just isn't for you. But deep down, you know that's not true. You know you want to learn, but something just keeps holding you back. So let's talk about why you're actually failing at coding. Not the surface level reasons like coding is hard or I don't have time, but the real reasons that nobody actually tells you. The first reason you're failing at coding is because you're trying to learn everything at once. You've got 20 tabs open, one tutorial teaching JavaScript, another explaining Python, another one diving into React or Flask, and you're trying to absorb all of it in one sitting. You think you're being productive, but in reality, you're just overwhelming yourself. Coding isn't about learning everything. It's about understanding something deeply enough that it becomes natural. You're not supposed to know it all from the start. You're supposed to grow into it. The second reason, and this one hurts, is that you're learning to code just to impress people. You see others posting their projects, landing jobs, building apps, and you think, I want that too. But the truth is, coding isn't a trend. It's not about showing off what you can do. It's about building the discipline to stick with it even when nobody's watching. Because there will be days when your code doesn't work, when your logic breaks down, when your confidence disappears. And if you're doing this just for the validation, you'll quit the moment it stops being fun. Another big reason people fail at coding is that they don't practice enough. Watching tutorials gives you the illusion of learning, but not the experience of learning. You watch someone code and say, okay, I get it. But when you try it yourself, your brain freezes. That's because you're not actively engaging. It's like watching a fitness video and expecting to get six-pack abs. You have to code to learn to code. There's no shortcut. You can't just absorb knowledge passively. You have to get your hands dirty. And then there's the perfection trap. You want your first project to look like something a senior developer built. You want every line to be clean, every function perfect. And the moment it's not, you delete everything and start again. But that's not how progress works. Coding is messy. You're supposed to write bad code before you write good code. You're supposed to make mistakes, debug, break things, fix them again, and repeat that process a hundred times. That's how real developers grow. The next reason people fail is because they underestimate consistency. You think spending 10 hours in one day coding makes up for doing nothing the rest of the week. It doesn't. The brain doesn't work like that. It learns through repetition and consistency, not bursts of burnout. If you just code one hour a day consistently, you'll improve faster than someone who codes once a week for 10 hours straight. It's like watering a plant. You can't pour a bucket of water once and expect it to grow. You have to nurture it daily. Another reason you're failing at coding is because you're comparing yourself to others. You see a 17-year-old who already built an app, or a YouTuber who seems to know 20 programming languages, and you start doubting yourself. But what you're not seeing is the years of quiet practice behind those achievements. Everyone learns at their own pace. Some people get it fast, others take their time. But comparing yourself doesn't speed you up, it just makes you lose focus. You're also probably not building things that excite you. You're following tutorials on stuff you don't even care about, and that's why you lose interest so quickly. Coding should be personal. Build something you actually want to exist, even if it's small. Maybe a calculator, maybe a portfolio site, maybe a simple game. The point is to create, not just copy. That's when you truly start to learn, when you make mistakes while building something that actually matters to you. Now let's talk about another trap, chasing frameworks. You keep hopping from one shiny thing to another, React, Vue, Django, Flutter, Rust, Go, and you never finish learning any of them. You think you need to know everything to be a real developer, but that's a lie. You only need to master one stack to get started. Once you truly understand one language and its ecosystem, learning others becomes easier. But if you keep switching before you finish, you'll always be stuck at the beginner level. Some of you are also failing because you're coding alone. You're stuck in your own bubble. You don't ask questions, you don't join communities, you don't show your work. You're scared people will judge you, but guess what? Every programmer was once a beginner. You learn faster when you engage with others, when you ask, share, and collaborate. You'll realize that the programming community isn't as scary as you think. It's full of people who went through the same struggles you're facing right now. Let's be real too, sometimes you're failing at coding because you're learning it the wrong way. You're relying on tutorials without truly understanding the why behind the code. You memorize syntax without understanding logic. You jump into frameworks without learning the fundamentals. It's like trying to build a house without a foundation. And then there's your mindset. Coding is not magic. It's logic, persistence, and patience. If you treat it like something you're supposed to get in one week, you're going to fail. You have to fall in love with the process, the debugging, the problem solving, the little wins. 
because that's what coding really is, a mental gym. You get stronger by pushing through frustration. Another thing that kills progress is burnout. You think the only way to succeed is to code all day, every day, but that's how you destroy your motivation. Take breaks, rest, go outside. Coding is creative work, and creativity needs space to breathe. Some of your best solutions will come not while coding, but while doing something completely different. Some of you are also failing because you're waiting for the perfect moment to start. You keep saying, I'll start learning when I have the right laptop, when I finish this course, when I have time. But there's never a perfect time. The best time to start is now with whatever you have. Some of the greatest developers started on slow computers, coding in notepad without Wi-Fi. What they had wasn't resources. It was consistency and curiosity. You might also be failing because you're afraid to fail. You see errors and bugs as proof that you're not smart enough, instead of seeing them as a natural part of learning. Every single programmer in the world has written broken code. Even senior engineers Google simple errors every day. Failing isn't the opposite of success in coding. It's a part of it. And maybe, just maybe, you're failing because you haven't found your why. Why are you learning to code? Is it for money? For freedom? For creativity? For problem solving? Once you find your reason, coding stops feeling like a task and starts feeling like a mission. You'll no longer need motivation to keep going. You'll have purpose. So, if you've been struggling, if you've been failing, don't beat yourself up. Everyone fails at coding in the beginning. Everyone gets stuck. Everyone feels dumb sometimes. But the ones who make it are not the smartest. They're the most persistent. They're the ones who show up again after every failure and try one more time. Coding isn't about being perfect. It's about being resilient. You're not supposed to get it all right now. You're supposed to fail, learn, and grow. So take a deep breath, close those extra tabs, focus on one thing, and start again. Because the truth is, the only reason you're failing at coding is that you've convinced yourself you already have. You can do this. You just have to keep going.